Well, let's start with measles. Um, just um, a one sentence introduction to measles. Measles vaccine, as we have it, as MMR, was introduced in 1971, went to a two dose regimen um, in 1989. And um, currently, there's a bit of a crisis going on in terms of measles epidemics, which seem to be uh, popping up in terms of whether this represents in the vaccine not being that effective or whether this rec represents the fact that uh, people are just not vaccinated appropriately. So abstract, the late breaker abstracts 33 and 32 focus on a Canadian um, epidemic that's out ongoing. The authors reviewed um, in LB33, they reviewed vaccination status of over 600 cases and concluded that while most of the cases occurred in unvaccinated people, that 24% um, were of people that were vaccinated. So the study really raises the concern about how long vaccine immunity lasts and also how immune a community needs to be for the unvaccinated people in order for them to be protected by herd protection. Also from a basic science point of view, this and all the other studies really underscore the fact that correlates of protection, that we, we really don't understand particularly well why it is that we're having so much difficulty with measles vaccine. And in the one uh, issue that was uh, identified, that you can see that in late breaker abstract 32, seems to be the younger age at which the second dose is given seems to be less protection. So all this seems to equal some sort of waning immunity over time. The late breaker abstract 15 reports on a US epidemic in Indiana. And I just bring this to your attention because it is staggering how many people one index case affected by the 13 or 14 other cases, but also all of the public health investigation of the over 300 people that were thought to have potentially been exposed by these cases. And what it really underscores for those of us who train people is that when these patients are admitted to the hospital, uh, they're not really thought to have measles. People haven't seen measles. We've practically lost any sort of institutional or personal memory for measles. And that seems to be um, contributing to late diagnosis and more cases. Um, and the um, just to sort of contrast a little bit with the Canadian experience, the US experience in recent outbreaks seems to suggest that traveling, um, people who have no immunity traveling or waning immunity who travel to high measles endemic countries um, seem to be particularly at risk. And so um, it sort of brings the measles under the rubric of travel medicine.